Futures traders are flipping short for the first time to this degree since September 2023. In this video, I'll look at their historical performance to see if they got it right this time. All right, so in this double chart, I have the price of Bitcoin on top and funding rate at the bottom. You can see that uh, funding rate goes up and down, sometimes positive and green, sometimes negative and red. Positive means there was so much demand for longs that the longs had to pay a premium. And negative means uh, the demand for shorts were on average a lot larger than longs so that shorts had to pay a premium. So when it's uh, green, it tells me that the futures market is on aggregate long and vice versa. So let's see how they performed over time. Uh, looking at the uh, beginning of the last uh, cycle uh, before the bull market began, uh, these futures traders went really, really long when we were in a consolidation, uh, but nothing really happened to the price at that period. So they closed the positions and went uh, short at the worst moment, right before an explosive jump begins. And once that jump begins, they probably get liquidated and the positions are closed and the bull market begins. And then they quickly flip back and uh, go long again. So this time they got it right, but they probably uh, gave up a lot of those gains when they went maximum long at the local tops and before a uh, short term correction. Then they did that again for uh, the other local tops and they went super, super ultra uh, long at the uh, top um, in May of 2021. And the market, of course, began correcting right after everybody is uh, exuberant. And they remained long, as you can see, throughout the uh, uh, correction. And... Uh, up until we reached the bottom. When when we reached the bottom, they actually flipped short. They lost hope and they they began uh, you know going short for several weeks, at least six weeks here, and that actually marks the bottom. And right before the another leg up begins, they are you know uh, short to a very significant degree. Once the leg up begins, they close the positions and then they flip long. So that's that's where they are correct. They ride the trend, but then they go max long again at the top and they remain long for, uh, you know, well after the top is over and give up a lot of those gains. So my guess is actually uh, on the balance, they've been losing a ton of money here. And then throughout the bear market, since we, you know, when we corrected from 60 plus range uh, all the way down to 16,000, um, they remained uh, long. They flipped a little bit short at some points, but most of the time long and lost money, lost money, lost money, lost money. Uh, once we got to 16K, they were like, okay, maybe we've been long for such a long time and losing. Let's, you know, it's probably going down to 8, 8K. And so let's short it. And that's when they get short uh, the most um, since the crash. And they remain uh, there for almost two months. Uh, of course, they make no money. And that marks the beginning of the next leg up. And then they spend... Uh, several months uh, long and short while the market is in consolidation. So not much is happening really. And actually right before uh, minor corrections, they are uh, long to a significant degree. And then they go short right when we reach another local bottom. So they're wrong again. But then once the new trend begins, they flip long and that's um, that's where they're right. Uh, uh, and of course, they gave a, they, they they give a lot of those gains back when they go maximum long at the top. And since then, they've been uh, relatively long, but they just flipped short on the weekly chart. So uh, you can see that this little red dot shows that they've been uh, so short that the, even the weekly chart shows uh, a, a short bias in the futures market. Are they right? So as you can see, these futures traders have been wrong at pretty much all of the important reversals, all of the tops and all of the bottoms they missed. They are uh, modestly successful in following trends after the trend has started, but 
and they typically join the train late and stay there for too long after the pump is over. So on average, they are very bad traders and they're now going short. Hope you like this. See you in the next video.